Hello and welcome to GrassyMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to find the mean, median, mode, and range of a data set. So let's get started. Alright, so on our TSI exam we might need to find mean, median, and mode, and range. And uh, that's a good, a good topic for us to review uh, looking into this series about the TSI. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is find the mean. You probably found the mean when you were in middle school and maybe you just need to review in order to pass your TSI exam or maybe you're even in middle school watching this video and you just want to review uh, while you're doing some homework. Alright, so to find the mean you add up all the numbers in a set of data and you get uh, you divide by the number of numbers. So that's exactly what we'll do. We're going to do 75 plus 75 plus 75 plus 90 plus 90 and then we're going to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now for a problem like this on the TSI, it's traditional for them to provide you with a calculator. Uh, they normally give you a small one like this that only can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, so that's what I'll use so that we can all uh, be in the same boat. So 75 plus 75 plus 75 plus 90 plus 90 and then we'll divide by 5 and we'll get our final answer. So the final answer here was 81. Okay. Now why was this number a 5? Okay. I just want to review that one more time. It is not always a 5. It's a 5 because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers in the numerator and those are the exact numbers for my data set. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So you can clearly see uh, that that is how the number five came around. If there had been six students and six grades, there would have been a six inside that little green circle instead of a five. All right, so let's keep going. We're going to find the median. All right, so for the median, what you do is put the numbers from least to greatest, which they already are, so that's very convenient. 75, 75, 75, 90, 90. So we start from smallest to largest. Okay, and here we grab the median means middle, middle. Uh, so we're going to grab the middle number, which is 75. That is our median. Okay. Now this has nothing to do with the problem that's in front of us here, but what would have happened? What would have happened if I had uh, some numbers like this, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and I wanted to find the median and there are only four numbers? Well, then you get the both middle numbers. There are two numbers in the middle here. And then you do your mean strategy on those, 4 plus 5 divided by 2. So that way you can kind of get the middle of the middle. And 4 plus 5 divided by 2 would be 4.5. And that would be your median for this data set. Again, this, this little bubble has nothing to do with our problem. It's just good to review that knowledge because sometimes, on, especially on tests, they like to check and see if you know that. Okay, so our median was 75. Now we look at our data set for the mode. Mode means the number that repeats the most. So here we have 75, 75, and 75. And it repeats three times. One, two, three. And then we have 90, which only appears twice. So between 75 and 90, 75 wins because it, it repeats more. Okay, so there we go. Here I have the same median and mode. That will not always happen. Okay, so please do not just copy median and mode. Uh, that just happened by coincidence. Okay, so now we're going to have uh, range. Range is really easy. You just get the biggest number and you subtract the smallest number. So let's take the biggest number from the data set, subtract the smallest number from the data set, and obviously 90 minus 75 equals 15. So our final range will be 15. And those are the four central tendency numbers. For this data set, the mean is 81, the median is 75, the mode is 75, and the range is 15. All right. Well, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and to visit the website at www.grossimath.com. Have a wonderful day.